As a Man Thinketh, a literary essay by James Allen, is a work focused on the simple yet profound premise that an individual's thoughts shape their character, circumstances, and ultimately their life. Allen's work is heavily influenced by the belief that inner thought has a direct correlation to external reality, echoing the idea that the mind is powerful enough to create both positive and negative outcomes in the physical world. The core idea of Allen's narrative is that a person's thoughts are like seeds planted in the mind. These seeds can grow into beautiful flowers or noxious weeds, the results hence reflecting the nature of the original thought. Thus, cultivated thoughts lead to a well-kept garden of a life, whereas neglected thoughts result in a chaotic existence. The mind is likened to a garden which can be intelligently cultivated or allowed to run wild, and this is where Allen introduces the concept of self-control and discipline as means of tending this mental garden. Allen emphasizes the concept of thought and character being intrinsically linked, suggesting that the latter cannot be without the former. Character is the complete sum of all thoughts. With this in mind, he argues that a person is literally what they think, their character being the complete sum of all their thoughts. Therefore, if one fosters pure thoughts, joy follows them like a shadow that never leaves. The purity of thought and the pursuit of truth are critical for the development of character, which is not something formed by external circumstances, but by accumulated thoughts. Moving the focus from character to circumstances, Allen suggests that individuals are not only the architects of their character, but also of the circumstances in their lives. While one might think that they are subject to fate, Allen postulates that individuals are, in fact, the shapers of their fate. The mind, through its thoughts, has the power to create circumstances that align with those thoughts. This concept underscores the importance of having positive, constructive thoughts to cultivate favorable circumstances. In keeping with this, the author argues against complaining about circumstances since they arise from one's own thoughts and actions. Allen further explains that thought is linked to health and the physical body. Anxious, negative thoughts can wreak havoc on the physical form, while thoughts of joy and harmony can rejuvenate and heal. The relationship between the body and the thoughts forming in the mind is intimate, with the outer conditions of a person's life always being harmoniously related to their inner state. The power of thought extends to its ability to shape a person's purpose in life. By focusing one's thoughts, Allen maintains that a person can direct their own progression and advancement. Without purpose, no achievement is possible. Allen uses a metaphor comparing the human mind to a lens, stating that by focusing their thoughts on a purpose and avoiding dispersion, an individual can achieve their desired goals. Moreover, the commitment to a purposeful life requires overcoming doubt and cultivating faith through sustained focus and effort. Allen also delves into the role of thought in achieving success and the accumulation of wealth. Wealth is not the result of hard work alone. It is also conceived first in thought and desire. Therefore, wishing for riches cannot bring riches without the right thoughts that lead to action. It is through thought that action takes shape. Nevertheless, while financial success can be a result of thought, Allen caresses the idea that true success encompasses much more than material wealth. According to him, achievement also encompasses the nurturing of one's soul, the fostering of noble goals, and the creation of harmony in one's environment. Serenity, which he cites as the highest form of success, is attained through self-control and purity of thought. Allen holds that calmness of mind is precious and contributes to the overall happiness and success of an individual. A serene person, unfettered by turbulent emotions or petty thoughts, is master of their soul and consequently of their life. Throughout the essay, Allen underscores the importance of the individual assuming responsibility for their thoughts and actions. By understanding and applying the principles he lays out, individuals can take control of their own minds and thus their destiny. Instead of being victims of the wind, they become capable of navigating through life with purpose and poise. In essence, as a man thinketh serves as a guidebook for personal responsibility and self-improvement through disciplined thought. Allen's essay is a call to individuals to consciously and purposefully manage their thoughts 
as doing so is the key to crafting a life of character, success, and peace. His message is one of empowerment, urging readers to realize that within them lies the capacity to mold their own life's experiences, sculpt their character, and influence their outer reality through the careful shaping of their inner world. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.